hello and welcome everyone to this new video and in this video we are going to create a simple form by using only html and css so i have created a folder and inside the folder there is an html file which will contain all of our html course and and css file which will contain all our stylings also there are on svg and on background image so i have linked the style.css with our index.html i have also added a fontosum kit here so you can go to the fontosum.com and get your own kit it's completely free you can sign up with your email account so at first i am going to create our html markup here first there will be a div with the class of container which will contain the entire things and inside it i am going to create another div with the class of wrapper so this wrapper will be the form and it will contain two things an image at the left side and some text and form in the right side we will position this wrapper inside the container at the center inside this wrapper the first thing we need to do is to add a div i am going to give it a class of image and this div will contain a simple image which is the image.svg the next thing we need is the right portion which will contain the welcome text and the form so i am going to give it a class of content inside this div the first thing we need to add is the welcome text now we are going to add our form let's leave the action blank for now and inside this form we need some input field the first input field will be for the text which will contain the username so i am going to add a placeholder your name the second input form will contain the email so the input type will be email let's add a placeholder of your e dash mail the third input field will be for the password so the type will be password we can also add a placeholder your password now the last thing we need to add is a button which will be the submit button so the button type will be submit i am going to add a text of create account now we are going to add some icons for that we are going to use fontosum icons if you go to the fontosum and search for icons we can get it from here the first icon we need is the user i am going to use this icon let's click it and it will get us the html code for it so i am going to paste it before the input field i am also going to add a custom class of icon we will need this class to position it properly inside this input field the second icon we need uh, is an envelope so it will be fs fa dash envelope and it will also have the class of icon the third thing we need is an icon of a lock so it will be icon fas fa dash unlock dash alt and it will also have the class of icon now let's save and see by the live server here all our things so this is the image welcome message and our input forms and the icons and the submit button now the markup process is complete let's move on to the style.css and style our form at first i am going to go to the google fonts and grab a form from here we are going to use this audio white font this only has this regular 400 version so i am going to select the style and copy the import and paste it in our style.css i am also going to copy the font family name now we can close this too we don't need that anymore now i'm going to put the universal selector or aesthetics to reset the margin to zero and 
padding to zero we can also put the font family name in here and the box sizing will be border box and i am going to add a font weight of 400 because that was the only font weight available for this font now let's style the container it is containing the entire thing and i am going to give it a height and weight so the height will be 100 viewport height it will take the entire height of the web page the weight will be 100 percent let's also add a background image with it so the background image has a name of bg.jpg if we see it this is our background image let's give the background position to center and also a background size to cover okay this is our background and now we are going to style the wrapper we will give it a specific height and height also background shadow and border radius and a background color so let's do that wrapper and background color will be white let's give it a height of 80 percent and a height of 70 percent let's give it a border radius of 7 pixels and also a box shadow now this is our wrapper we are going to center it by giving it a position of absolute to give the child element a position of absolute we need the parent element to position of relative right so this is the parent element here it will be position relative and this element will have a position of absolute now from left it will be 50 percent from top it will also be 50 percent but now it will start from the 50 percent left and from 50 percent top to make it properly center we are going to add transform property the transform will be translate and on the x axis it will be minus 50 percent and on the y axis it will be minus 50 percent now it should be completely centered and it is now we are going to divide this box into two half and the left half will take this image and the right half will take the welcome message and this form so for that we are going to use css grids so to apply the grids we need to apply it with this wrapper contains these two child elements and by applying the grid with this wrapper it will align the child elements inside the grids so for that the first thing we need to do is to give it a display of grid now we need to divide the grid so that will be grid template and columns we need two fraction so it will be on fr on fraction and second fraction so it will divide it by half the image is too big so it is pushing the right content to far right we can solve this issue by giving our image and a specific height so it will have a id of image and inside it we got the image let's give it a height of 75 percent now here we are they are all taking the half white now we need to align them in the center for that we can use align items just like we did with the flex box so it will be align items and center now they should be centered in horizontal direction but we also need to center them in vertical direction for that i am going to just use text align and center now they are centered in vertical direction too now this section has a blue background color i am now going to style that it has a class of content uh, let's give this a background color of double zero five b e and a so this is our blue color and here we are but the background color will only apply on the space that is taken by the elements 
now we on the background color to be taking the entire height right so we can give this element a height of 100 percent in that case it will take the entire height of the container element which is this wrapper so let's do that let's give this container a height of 100 percent now it will take the entire height of its containing element let's also give some padding and around the y axis or at the top and the bottom it will be 7 percent and around the x axis it will be 20 percent so it will have some nice gap at the left and the right side now by default the input fields are inline element but in this case we don't want them to be inline we want them to be block level element so let's make the form and input and display block now they are block level elements we can give it a void of 100 percent so it will take the entire void of this form except this uh, 20 percent and 20 percent padding so let's give them a void of 100 percent and to create some gaps among them in the vertical direction i am going to give it a margin in the y direction of 15 pixels and in each direction we don't need any margins let's also add a padding here so from top it will be 10 pixels from right 30 pixels from bottom again 10 pixels and from the left side it will be 40 pixels so i am going to give this a 10 pixels more padding at the left side because it will have a icon in here now let's give them a border radius to make the corners rounded of 28 pixels our input fields has a outline of something but we are going to make it none and also the border should be none i think it should look good now and it is looking great but when i hover on them nothing happens so i am going to add some box shadow in the inside or inset so let's do that form input and focus when you focus on that it will have a box shadow in the inside okay now it is having this box shadow in the inside now let's style the form button here form and button let's give it a padding of 10 pixels and 30 pixels in the x direction the border should be none let's also give it a background color of linear gradient and also a box shadow in the inside let's also give it a border radius of 25 pixels and a margin top of 30 pixels so it will have some gap among the other inputs and the button the outline should be none otherwise when you click it it will have some outline so this is our button and this is our input fields now let's style this h2 tag here at the welcome text so it is inside the content and h2 let's give it a font size of 48 pixels the color should be white and let's give it a margin top of 50 pixels so it will have some gap with the input fields sorry it will be margin bottom not the top okay it looks fine now now we need to position the icons right so let's do that they are inside the form and all has a class of icon we are going to make the position to absolute and from left it will be zero let's see and they are here because in order to position them inside this form we need to give the parent element of this icons a position of relative and the icons has a parent element of this form so form position should be relative now they should work they are at the far left so i am going to push it four pixels let's also add a padding of 10 pixels 
let's save and they are looking great the color is black but we are going to make it a blue color so let's give it a color of this one okay here we are the forms look great and the styling is done so this was our simple form using only html and css i hope you like this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video